Hey team, what's up? Today I have for you a very short video. Um, the Calamity and the patch videos are going to come soon after, but I had this lying on my hard drive, so I just want to finish this video that I wanted to make telling you about Zephyr, the hero that is somehow on a very low percent win at the moment, but I believe he has a lot of potential for a comeback. He's basically the hero that, even if you get absolutely demolished and crushed, destroyed, you can still come back into the game and carry your team and be one of the uh, most important factors in the game. So why am I showing this game specifically? Because of very interesting stuff happening on the screen right now. As you can see I'm having a really good time, but even then I knew that Zephyr has a lot of potential and I say this. You know what? We're not going to end the video right there, we're just going to continue because uh, all of my videos are like where I have a really easy time and maybe people think that I'm some kind of noob, but um, we're actually gonna try and win from this huge disadvantage where he got first blood. So you'd think, well, so much is just the first blood and you just went back to mid without a TP. That's not so bad, right? Here, there's another mistake, a uh, second clip that is coming up. It's not really a mistake, but it's more like, I honestly thought that it's completely broken. I try and use my first skill here to push him into tower range, but if you slow down the video, you'll see that it was actually, it was supposed to work, but it just didn't for some reason. And that was my second death where I get absolutely destroyed. We we'll skip ahead 20 minutes and I have around 360 GPM. So the usual uh, build on any Zephyr, he will go, any Zephyr in any game, you will see he'll go Ghost Marchers and something like Helm Black Legion. But my build relies more on your farming potential, which is the reason why this hero is so good at coming back. Your second skill basically makes it insanely easy to farm with the minimal amount of items. You basically just really need Steam Boots. So my item build is Steam Boots, and when I can, I usually get, for health region purposes and for farming, a cleaver. But this game I wasn't as lucky to get a cleaver because I was a bit behind. Still, I managed to get an insanely good GPM, so really all I have left to show you in this game is the ending, which is the final team fight. You can take a look at my items and my GPM. I basically completely destroy the enemy team. They have a lot of magic damage, so that's why I opted to go for a Shaman's Headdress this game. Probably the reason I didn't go for a Cleaver, because uh, Life Tube is part of the build for that. And yeah, that's my build. I like to go Steam Boots, and also a really good item I like is Iron Shield, because it gives agility and the difference in agility hero and a cleaver, which will give you the region you need and will basically make you destroy and wreck everything in sight. So, got destroyed mid, but Zephyr is just a hero that I want people to discover and he's basically very good at coming back. Perhaps the low win percent is because people are kind of building him around. I don't really see the point of Ghost Marchers. Also, um, Lodestone was not a very, very good teammate, but I was in a good mood, so I let him pass. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, I'll see you in the next Calamity video, which I'm editing. Okay, uh, can you rocket the here, please, Pharaoh? Yeah, incoming. Let's see. Oh, oh there he is. Just this oh, there's someone else here. Be careful, Blue. A doctor incoming, but the Hellbolt have destroyed a legion tower. Say my name. Interesting. Doctor, um, Let's kill incoming. Doctor. Wait, what Doctor? There is no incoming. Doctor. You mean Chipper? Oh! oh shipper, I'm sorry. Interesting. Yeah, Chipper and Magnus. Lel. <laughs>